Hi everyone, welcome back to another thirsty episode. Today I have a drink that, again, I found in the Asian market. It is this. Wonder Farm Bird's Nest White Fungus Drink. Have you heard of Bird's Nest Soup? It's popular in China. It's quite expensive. It's a soup that's made out of bird's nests, but a specific kind of bird's nest, a swiftlet, which is an amazing bird. It's a bird, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's one of the few birds, if the only bird that echolocates. An echolocating bird, it's like part bat, it's like bat bird, like Batman. It's awesome in itself, right? Echolocating bird. These birds live in these caves and they create these nests, but these nests are special. They're not made out of twigs or, or sticks and stuff. They're made out of bird spit. Anyways, it's supposed to have all these healthy benefits and it's ridiculously expensive. So this, you know, I got for a bunch of different reasons. A, does it have bird's nests in it, as in bird spit? And and B, what what does it taste like? So this was only, I think, 89 cents or something at my local Asian market. So I can't imagine that it has much bird's nests in there, if any. And sure enough, it says bird's nest, one milligram per liter. So, you know, probably hardly anything. But it does have white fungus. It is a product of Vietnam. So, hence the Vietnamese on the back. Ooh, immediately it smells kind of like vanilla or something. It definitely smells sweet. So let's see what it... Oh, it's clear. It has these little floaties in it. Let me see. There you go. Floaties. A highly technical term. Let's taste it. Come by. Wow. It's very, very sweet. And it's a little bit thickened, a little bit gelled. And it has a slight flavor of maybe vanilla or something. Vanilla or... Kind of reminds me of the flavor of Thai tea. When you have Thai, like Thai iced tea. It has that almost, that vanilla, floral, not really coconutty, but it tastes like Thai iced tea. The floaties, or I'm imagine, I think that's probably the white fungus in there. You don't really feel them. They're, it's kind of like a gel when you drink it. It's a bit like a jello. Um, I don't really like it. It's way too sweet. It's super, super sweet. But maybe you eat, you drink this for health benefits rather than the flavor of it. Um, it's thick, and maybe on a hot day it can be really quenching because it's gelled. But anyways, that's bird's nest tea. I mean, why do I keep calling it tea? Bird's nest white fungus drink. I don't like it. I think it's too sweet, but it's not bad. It it satisfied my curiosity of, of what was inside this can. If you see it, you might want to try it. It's only 89 cents, so it's not a large investment. Thirsty number one, thirsty number two are right here. You can go check those out, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, bye. Um, apparently there are mind-controlling parasites that could potentially exist in cat feces, and it can be contracted transdermally through the skin. And you know, cats love to lose you know, use your sandbox as a litter box. And yeah, you don't want any mind controlling parasites. I'm not paranoid. I'm not. It's it's true. Google it. I'm not paranoid.